What's up, doll collectors? Hobbyist, fab some besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are showing box art, a little appreciation. This is from Disney Wish Doll Packaging. We have a nice little scene here and I totally need to use it. So get ready to craft, reuse, and recycle. After we made our witch's house in these thin boxes, I had an idea. Let's use foam board to make a 13 by 11 inch rectangle to use as the back wall of our box. I cut another rectangle that is 13 by two and a quarter. I glue it onto the edge of the back wall. At the top of the back wall, I draw a line that is a quarter inch from the edge. Cut a two by 11 inch piece of foam board a two by 12 and a half that we will glue onto this edge. And finally, a rectangle for the floor. Mine measures two inches by 10 and three quarters, bringing us to a total of six pieces to make this box. I know it's a lot of numbers, but don't be scared. You got this. And I start the last one because if we cut out more than one, we can use them as shelving, which I am totally going to do. I cut out one two inch shelf. Then I cut another shelf that is just one inch. Now that we have all of our pieces, it's time to glue things together. Glue the two and a quarter inch piece onto the side. Take the two by 11 and glue it a fourth of an inch from the top, creating a small recess. Take the quarter inch strip and let's glue it along the top edge. So from one side, it kind of looks like a book and it is open on the other side. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and carefully make a few lines going down to hopefully give the illusion of pages. I plan where I would like my shelves to go. I'm gonna do a large one at about five inches from the bottom, then draw a second one about two and a quarter inches under that. Now we just need to decide on our background. Enter the box art. I want to use images from the packaging for our background, like this one. But first, I paint the outside of my box. If you don't want to paint, you can always cover it with paper, which is totally starting to give that book vibe. While waiting for it to dry, let's cut out the back of the box to get the picture that we want. We could just glue it onto the back wall, but I want mine to pop out a little. So I cut the house out, add scrapbook paper to the box, then glue in the shelf. I am moving my second shelf. Then I add a few dividers, then add the shelf and the bottom. So now we have some storage underneath. Now we can take the house we cut out from the doll packaging and glue it onto the back to give our dolls a Barbie the movie backdrop for their minis but I want it to be a little more 3D and give it that over the top feel of Barbie land. So I move the house to the side and cut out a second one from another doll box. I cut parts from other packaging and glue into the box for the floor and to add details to the house, like giving each level a floor. I added a few supports in the back using more packaging, then I glue it into the box making our scene 3D and hopefully giving that Barbie land vibe. I cut out more pictures from other boxes and glue them into the room. I cut out the shower and glue it into the room to make it pop out a little. I cut out a street lamp, glue it into the scene, and I glued it to the side of this floor to add a little more support. Then it just really comes down to what you are willing to sit and cut out to add more 3D details to the scene. Glue on the last wall, cut more of the packaging to decorate the side of the book and let us know what this box is about. I printed out and cut out our photo storage box printable. It is available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. It's in our books and school stuff album. You just have to scroll down a little and keep scrolling. Where is it? It's in here, I promise. There it is. I printed it on cardstock 
and it has a lid so we can keep our mini secure. Uh, the lid's a little large. <laughs> Sorry about that. I printed a few at 125% so we can get some that are a little larger. We can stack and place them on the bottom shelf. Cut pictures from the back of doll packaging or furniture that we can add to our scene. So we can decorate and personalize this space. We can also cut the dolls out like we did in a previous video. I put a little hot glue on the back for extra support. Then place a drop of glue on our silicone mat. Place the doll's feet into the glue to make a paper doll with a stand. So our dolls can do a little paper doll photography. And when we're not using them, we can store them in the boxes. And we can store future projects that we might want to cut out later in the boxes as well. Check that out. Sometimes there are different poses for the same doll. We can add cutouts inside the shelves to make it look like we have a few dolls stored under there, along with other paper minis we might make. Let's cut out this Barbie You Can Be Anything, bend it, and glue in some leftover foam board to make a quick doll book, giving us more clutter for our shelves. And now we have a fake book within a fake book. But now our dolls can enjoy their doll collecting and doll photography in an organized space, just like all us doll collectors. Yeah, right. I wish my setup was this neat, but I love how it looks like a book. And this gives me a place to store all those little mini paper dolls I've been making. I've been wanting to make this for a while. Let's look at a few other ways we can recycle our doll packaging. I made another book box. This time I left out the shelving. And of course, painting is optional. Let's cover the floor with scrapbook paper, add baseboards, cut out a picture from the box. We can add a little scrapbook paper. I'm going with a concrete. And I totally should have put the wallpaper down before I glued on the baseboards. Glue the picture on top glue strips of foam board around it and one across the center. Take a leftover scrap of packaging, cover it with a piece of paper. We can add a few more layers of packaging for strength. Then let's do a simple painting. This is inspired by one I saw on Barbie style Instagram. Cut a few leftover pieces of foam board. I paint them with a brown base coat, then gold paint, glue it around the picture, to make a work of art. And we were able to use a part of the box that didn't have a picture. You really can't go wrong with a window and a little bit of art. It is great for doll photos. I used my computer to print out a label and I just cut it out and glued it onto the side. To close off this side, I made another book box, but I changed which side was open. Let's add scraps of scrapbook paper to the box I didn't have enough of one print, so I switched it up and used a different one on the other side. Let's use a little clear plastic from packaging. This is from a Dizzy 100 figure box. I cut a piece and glue it or tape it into the box. I cut black paperboard from a Monster High box. I cut it into thin strips, then glue them around the clear plastic. Then I take two thin strips and we're going to glue those right in the center. I add a painted piece of craft foam for a quick, sleek front door. I cut another small piece of the Monster High box, then cut another smaller piece, flip it over, and glue it on top. I cut out a logo from packaging. I went with the Barbie logo, and I glue it on top to make a ruggable, inspired doormat. Add a few sticker numbers to personalize it, and we have a new front door that we can decorate for the season. Oh yeah, and I added a label on the side. These take up less space than our hidden doll rooms and I think it's kind of fun that they look like books. And I feel like they allow me to take more risk because it's not such a big build. We can still combine them to expand a scene. And we recycled some packaging, which is always a plus. Thank you for joining us while we turned some trash into toys and made rooms in a book. Like comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at 
My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.